Working from home, what does it mean to you? How is it going? I hope that you are all managing, staying sane, staying safe, and trying to enjoy this time that you have at home with your family and loved ones and looking after yourself, doing a bit of self-care. I don't think I ever thought I would appear like this on the internet. <laughs> This is pretty crazy, but at the moment I am writing up a blog post, I have a nose strip on, I have conditioner in my hair, moisturised completely, I have the dishwasher on, the washing machine is on, and I'm totally up to date with all the housework. Yeah, that looks a little bit more civilised now, doesn't it? I feel nice and clean and moisturised. Um, I've been doing some blog post work, so that should all be up to date. I feel really motivated and inspired and I don't know it might be out of fear for the whole situation I kind of feel like I'm unified with everyone else working at home right now and it's kind of inspiring me to try and help them help you guys share what I do and my tips and everything so I've been doing quite a lot of blog posts and Instagram posts so that's the good thing but for now um, I've got about an hour before Ingmar comes home, Mia is napping and so I thought I'd come into the sitting room and kind of just give it a bit of an, uh, an update. We're now at the stage where she's kind of ready to sit at her own table, uh, her own desk and work from home. <laughs> um, <laughs> so she has her own kitchen. Well actually I'll give you a little tour of the space. It is messy but it's a normal family home. I've never done a house tour so uh, maybe that's something I should do whilst we're all at home. But basically this is our sitting room area so we have our sofa over here and then we normally have a coffee table here but it is down in the basement just so that Mia has lots of space to play in. We have our TV opposite, a chair here, her toys and play mat and kitchen and everything. There's a few more toys around here. Uh, it's a bit awkward there and that goes out onto the balcony and then we basically have our dining table at the end, some washing, um, our dining table at the end. We still have her Ikea high chair, we've not moved up to the next size of high chair because we have a trip trap. We have a change table which we're still using. I might take that out, get it down into the basement, gallery wall and some decorations still up from the hen weekend that we had, or the hen do that we had, so basically, I bought this, no, Ingemar bought this table actually, two Christmases ago when I was pregnant. We have a small artificial tree, so I wanted to basically raise it up. So it sat over there in the corner, and I'm thinking now that this is the perfect height for Mia to sit at and kind of play at and maybe have snacks and things like that at it. So this is going to be her little table. Well, it's not in brilliant condition, but... I'm going to give it a good scrub down, a wash, a scrub down, and I'm going to paint it with some um, um, blackboard paint so that she can have her own surface to draw on, and then she has her own little PlayStation. So at the moment, she has these shelves of toys, so I'll take you over. We've got a George, <laughs> not Peppa. We've got lots of musical stuff, which she loves. She likes this jigsaw at the moment, and I leave them out in boxes undone so that she has to do them. That's the kind of Montessori technique. We have this beautiful, beautiful, it's not tapestry, is it embroidery that was made by a subscriber, so thank you very much. Uh, so that sits here for everyone to enjoy and see. And we have lots of different activities for her. So she's got the Ikea tower block, which is also in a tray, we can pull this down, she can build it. Uh, we've got Jigsaw. I just bought these the other day, so these are fab. I love them, little buildings. So she plays with them and stacks them up. And then we have some other stacking things. She's got some Icelandic books there. Then we have the toy of the year, isn't it? Uh, the eggs. This is her favourite toy at the moment, which is a bus with loads of people on it. She likes to open the door and put them in and out. And then we've got the shapes, which really... I don't, she doesn't really play with a huge amount anymore. Um, this is definitely her favourite, these two. So this is the before. There you go, and hopefully it will be an improvement. So I've given it a good sand down, a good wash, and I'm going to paint it now with this blackboard paint that I bought the other day. 
the other day, it was like three weeks ago now, when we were actually able to go out and about. Um, so I'm going to paint this tabletop so that Mia can do some chalk drawing on it. So I've got colours and white. Come on there. Yeah. I forgot to buy almond flour. <laughs> filming. Mike, sit in your little seat. There we go. Yay. And mommy is going to write your name. Ma. Yay. There you go. Your own table. You can draw all over this. And hopefully, not the walls. <laughs> mm, you're doing a rainbow. And this is the after. So I'm filming this on the Easter weekend. Ingmar and Mia have just gone out for a walk. So I have tidied. It doesn't normally look this tidy and organized, um, but I just picked up while they were out so I could show you. So we have our kind of chill out sofa area, footstool, which we have all of our bedding hidden in. The sofa is a sofa bed as well. This little mat area is kind of Mia's sofa, <laughs> so she doesn't sit too close to the TV and Peppa. Then over here, she loves to play peekaboo, sitting on this little step here and hiding in the curtains. So that's really cute. Um, here we have our kitchen, so I kept it in the same place, moved the rocking horse or moose to there. So we can move that onto the mat so it's nice and soft. And then this is her new desk area. So underneath she has the Indian footstool that I brought back from, I think Rajasthan. And on top, she's got her blackboard area. A little dish with a cloth and some chalk in it. A couple of drawings that I did. <laughs> and then she's got her jigsaws at the back there. And I always leave out a cup so that she's got some water. And then her toy area. She's got a lot of toys out at the moment. I think I might take four or five items away and change them out because then it makes her feel like she's getting new toys when they come back out and I think this is just over simulation. There's too much going on there. I'll probably do that before she comes back and then she's got her exciting, very expensive cereal box toy at the bottom that I just made her, her doll and her monkey. We have the chair in the corner, dining room table with a few decorations for Easter and then we've taken away the change table. So I've just put the high chair here for now and we'll figure out what we're gonna do in that area. And in this box, I've just got everything that we use for changing her bum. Basically just change her here or on the sofa or just on the floor and it's super simple. Here we go. That's our sitting room. Yeah. 